is my first day with a battle against what I think is Dinos. I know I said in a previous video that I thought it was Sino, but originally when I first started getting algae on the sand bed, I actually thought it was diatoms and it may have been diatoms. And I started to dose a product, which I've had for a while, which is Vibrant Reef. That seemed to clear things up for a while. And then it started to come back. And the way it was blowing off with a turkey baster, it just wasn't like normal algae. So I thought it might be Sino. But looking into it further, I think it actually might be Dinos. So reading up on that and, and kind of watching videos and seeing how bad it can be, a lot of people end up tearing their tank down because of it. I thought I would try and hit it hard and fast rather than just kind of mucking around and see how it got on. As I said, I've, I've been dosing Vibrant. There ain't any other sort of algae in the tank really, other than that. So I think it could be Dinos. Although I know a lot of people will look at that and go, look, that's just green. It looks like normal green algae. Last, late last night, I took a top layer of the sand off. So I vacuumed the whole sand bed, got as much of it off and, and you know, quite a bit of sand as well out of the tank. And these are the bits that I just had left before I turned the lights off. But the way that it, it blows off, it, it's not like normal algae at all. And, you know, although I've seen green cyano in freshwater tanks, I've not seen any green cyano in like reef tanks. I'm not saying you can't get it green, but there you go. I just, I've, from reading what I've been reading, I think it's dinos. My conchies, I've got two. They're doing okay, they're fine. I did put six new snails in. They were acclimated fine, but within a couple of days they've died, and I've never had that issue before, and that's what made me start to look at other stuff other than cyano, and that's where I come to the conclusion that I might have dinos. Now, I've not looked at it underneath a magnifying glass, which you're supposed to, but I'm quite confident that's what I think it is. So. You've got a couple of options. Phase one is the tank blackout, so I'm going to do that for three days. As I said, I'm not going to wrap it. And I'm also going to be dosing Dino X. I was going to have a look at dosing peroxide, but in the end, I've gone with Dino X to see how that goes. Some people, like, Vibrant is supposed to get rid of dinos, but reading into dinos, it seems that a lot of people that get them have low nutrient tanks, so in other words, their phosphates and their nitrates are really low. Now, I know mine are quite low from the last try and test I had the phosphates anyway, you were like 0.019, so they were slightly low. And that can allow dinos to get a, a foothold. It's the same like Sino, really. Mostly it's low nutrient tanks, although not always, but you know, people that dose vodka, vinegar, that kind of thing, they seem to have issues with cyano at times so you know the two could be combined in fact one of the methods to actually get rid of dinos is apparently called the dirty tank method where you push your phosphates up you push your nitrates up let hair algae etc grow throw loads of pods and macro micro fauna in and apparently that at competes the dinos eats the dinos etc etc but i'm really not looking to have a manky tank at all it's not it just don't sit well with me oh and i know dinos some people literally rip their tanks down and start again um, and there's lots of conflicting evidence so vibrant reef can work on it it doesn't always work on it dino x amazing product solves it terrible product crashed my tank um, and the same again with if you're any method there's so many anecdotal um, stories out there that no matter what you read there'll be a good and a bad for it so reading, I suppose reading across the lines with this, I don't want it to be a long drawn out battle, I want it to be quite quick. So I'm gonna hit multi-prong, I think you have to multi-prong it if it is dinos, even if it is cyano, but I'm pretty sure it's dinos, multi-prong. So I'm gonna do a three day black hat, not wrapped, just lights out. Gonna dose Dino X, continue to take layers of sand bed off, now, if I do have to pull this whole sand bed out and replace it, that's not a problem. You know, I'm willing to do that. I'm not totally happy with this sand anyway. It's never really been right. So I was thinking of doing that anyway. I'm not saying I'm going to, but it was on my mind. So it could be, could be a possibility. And that's how I'm going to see how I get on for now. So that's three different things I'm doing. But again, they may not work. Some people say peroxide. Some people say all sorts. I do know with Dino X, you have to turn off your UV turn off your uh, phosphate and 
chlorine carbon you've got. So you just run your skimmer and see how that goes. I'm gonna stop dosing vibrant. So I, again, I don't want too much going on with the tank, but then, because apparently Dino X will drive your phosphates down, I, I don't know if that's the case. I might have just heard it somewhere. But again, you start looking on the forums and it just starts getting crazy. There's so many different ideas of what to do, what not to do. And some people have done everything that I've suggested and nothing's worked. And then they kind of gut their tank, reboot it, reload it, new sand, new everything, take the rocks out, peroxide on the rocks, everything, put it back in a couple of weeks later and, and the dinos are back. So I'm hoping that that ain't gonna be the case with me. But I'm not gonna frap around with it. I'm just gonna do what I've got to do and see how we get on. You know, I've had issues with this tank. I've had uh, just blooms of one kind or another in here. And, and so the tank for the last year has kind of been up and down and a lot of it's been my fault. But I just want to get things sorted now, to be fair. And, and so this is just another battle that I'm fighting. What I will say is I like Vibrant. I'm not saying Vibrant caused it. I do like it. The tank is really clear under this. And again, I haven't got no other real algae. If we have a look. Okay, you've got the green stuff on the rocks. Sorry about the, the glare there. But you're going to get that on, on, on rocks. And it's strange, some of this stuff actually blows off. So again, I, I don't know. I don't know, it's very green for dinos, but trust me, it's been brown, really brown. And not snotty, not like you see with all the bubbles and all, all that sort of stuff, but almost like it's going that way, getting a little bit stringy. And I think what's happened maybe is the vibrant has either kind of kept it at bay or not letting it get a, a total control of the tank maybe. But it's starting to get worse, starting to get worse, and that, that's why I'm going to try and deal with it. I'll do another video, so let's do, let's say, we'll do the three days light out, lights out. We'll cut out the Vibrant, start dosing the Dino X, rip the um, phosphate and carbon reactor offline, turn off the UV, and we'll give it three days and we'll see what it looks like. Maybe a couple more, and I'll do another video to see how we're getting on. If anyone doesn't, like, look, honestly, if anyone sees this and uh, you're like, you're on drugs, mate, it's not anything that you've said. It's a nice, really crappy, because that ain't showing you anything. But, if anyone has any suggestions, chime in. And I know a lot of people are gonna go, don't even look that bad. But as I said, the lights have been out, it's, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, they've not been on for like 18 hours now. So that's why it's not growing back so much but you can see the bits that I've missed and the fact that it is going up on the glass. And I've never had this sort of algae on the glass. Diatoms, yeah, but, but not this sort of stuff. So there you go. If you have any suggestions, please, you know, feel free, just message, because I'm still learning in this hobby, that's for sure. So let's see how we get on. 